Thanks for bringing a little bit of uh, memories here before we get into the dance. We need the following judges to come on over here. We need Rod Patrick, Rod Achenham, Lisa Miches, Gisela Many Horses, Denise Taylor, Logan Taylor, Keanu Noon, and Cason Street. Uh, come on over here. You're a judge. Also, Thunder Hill, stand by. We're going to get all of you fancy dancers out here into the arena. All 18 and over, fancy feather dancers. War dancers, report to the arena. While we're doing this here, folks, ladies and gentlemen, uh, by special invite from the High Eagle family, we have a gentleman here that uh, stands beside me here. The other day we had him talk about, share a little bit of story, say a prayer for each and every one of us at our celebration time. He's a recognized lead singer. He's a recognized individual in the Native American church, recognized amongst his nation, his people, as a song composer. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, uh, he was brought here by special invite, and he composed a song for Brendan. And tonight, he's going to explain a little bit about that song. He's going to explain a little bit about the origins of the song and how it came to be. While the fancy dancers are coming out, Ladies and gentlemen, I'll turn the microphone over here to Mr. Cheever's Topa. I want to say uh, thank you um, to the family for asking me to come up here and say a few words. Um, Some time back, uh, a couple years ago before the pandemic, my I call him my little brother, Brendan, uh, asked me to compose a song for him. And uh, he was telling me that he was going to have this special. So um, I asked him what his, his Indian name was. So he told me. And then uh, I uh, seeked out a couple of people in their language to try and, uh, uh, out of respect, to try and make a song for him that has their language in there. So uh, as we go along through uh, life, I know even my uncles and my grandpas, they They traveled all over the United States. I even had an uncle that came up here in Canada. His name was Jack Ankew. Uh, He brought gray horse singers up here at one time. And so with that, you know, we make relationships, and that's how it came to be with this family here. And uh, I'm real thankful for that. So I I did the best I could for my little brother here to make this song for him. And uh, this kind of goes along with uh, what his name is. And then I even... Like I said, I seeked out some help from some individuals. Even my little brother here, Kaysen, helped me out with some of the language here. So I'm thankful for that. So this song uh, we're going to be singing is, is his personal song. And at uh, one point in time, our folks, they would get up here and they would explain these songs from Oklahoma because uh, that's all our language, our, our people, their songs. There are a lot of individual songs where I come from. So this song here will be his song. And uh, in Oklahoma, we when we put a song on the drum, anybody can sing it. So with that, you know, all you singers, and not, there are not very many southern groups here, but um, you can sing this song because um, it's on the drum. That's how we go about things. So I just wanted to mention that and kind of go along with uh, Brendan and what he asked me to do. So thank you. I hope. Thank you, Chivers Topa. Man, we're looking forward to that. Fancy dancers, we're going to ask you to circle up here, make a big circle all across the arena floor here. We're going to s- ask our, our young honoree to come on out to the arena here. But before we get into the official dance, we got a proud grandma. She's going to bring some words here on behalf of her grandson. We uh, honored her here the other night. Marianne Haigo, you know, and uh, been in this arena for a long time. And they, uh, the family put together a lot of gifts. They put a lot of thought, a lot of effort in honoring their grandson. They got bustles. They got a drum. They got, uh, they even got Hoka uh, tennis shoes. These uh, Hoka tennis shoes, those are worth about three, 400 bucks. And as I understand it, those are some of the most comfortable shoes known to mankind. One of you fancy dancers are going to take those home. Well, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, as we introduce the special here tonight, we're going to go to a proud grandma here. 
and talk about the grandson, talk about whatever's in her heart here tonight. Marianne, how you go? Good evening, everyone. Thank you all for coming and all you fancy dancers. Thank you to uh, come to the call of uh, Welcome to the Battle Zone special. And I just wanted to say a few words about calling it uh, Battle Zone. This is what Brendan wanted to do, how he planned his special. And uh, it's meant to be a fun way of dancing. You all have your unique way of dancing. You all have your moves, your style. And that's what he would like you to display. And uh, as this contest moves forward, it's going to be one-on-one. -on -one. So you may want to save your best moves for if you – this is going to be run like a tournament style. And so your best moves, we want to see them. And uh, I just want to add to add to this uh, – why I wanted to explain Battle Zone and that it's a do it in a fun way. But myself, I have a little testimony that made, made me believe in your power of dance. Some say this dance started back in a wild, wild bill days. However it may start, I want you to know that there is healing powers in your dance because I, I am an example of healing from the fancy dance. I told this story when Brendan was first head boy dancer at this powwow here a few years ago. And you all remember that. And for some of you in an, I don't want to say next generation, but you guys were little then, now you're in, in the older division. You know, the story, the story is powerful, and we'll share it again sometimes, but right now we want to get into it. And I just want to say, have fun. We're all, you are all fancy dance bros, and let's enjoy this moment. Wopida Tanka. Thank you, Marianne. Always good to hear a little bit of background, a little bit of history. And as I mentioned, you know, uh, whenever we dance in this arena, you know, there's a lot of a purpose, a lot of intent. Tonight, it's about joy. I'm going to bring a little bit of joy, a little bit of pride, a little bit of honor. We got Brendan Heigl out here in the center of our dance arena. You saw him all weekend here working hard on this arena floor as an arena director. And now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, throughout his emergence of his life, he stands before you as a young, fancy feather dancer. Tonight we honor him. We recognize him here. We have Thunder Hill who composed a special song for him. We're going to give him two starts, and then we're going to call you right in, and the contest begins on the third start. In the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, make welcome... Mr. Brendan Heigl. Here we go. Thunder Hill. Make some thunder. Here we go. Hook a Gentlemen, if they like what you see, let them hear it. Mr. Brendan Heigl, make some noise.
What do you say, power fans? Make some noise. Your war dancers. Thank you, Brendan. Thank you, Thunderhill. We're off to a good start. As I understand it here, ladies and gentlemen, we got a few songs to go. We got our uh, we got our judges. I got the script here. Marianne, it's like, hey, where's my script, man? <laughs> Yes. I believe we got one more, two more songs, or is it one more song? Two more songs, Fancy Dancers, and then we're going to narrow it down to a few of you here. All right. Grandma said I want to explain the rules to the dancers here just so we're clear. Just to be clear on the dance rules, it's a battle zone. Rule number one, there are no rules. Rule number two, refer to rule number one. So, having said that, if you're bucked off, you dang well better get back out there and dance because that's what you're here to do. Go for it. Here we go. War zone. Water people off the floor. We're going to turn it back on over here to Thunder Hill. Here we go. Gentlemen, judges, keep your eyes peeled. We're ready to go. Another song coming your way. Thunder Hill, bring the thunder.
There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit louder, a little bit louder. Ah, thank you, Thunder Hill. It is good. Walk around, gentlemen. This is the time right here. You're going to start to see a little bit of uh, fatigue settle in. Bring out some Gatorade. Bring out some Red Bull. Bring out some water. Bring a little something to your fancy dancer here. Fancy dancers, we got one more song, and then we're going to get into uh, some eliminations, all right? Pace yourselves. Pace yourselves. It is good. I can't really talk about the hockey game no more. It's just, uh, <laughs> it's way out of hand. It's way out of hand. <laughs> Let's find out the score over here. It's 4 nothing, ladies and gentlemen, for the Oilers. <laughs> How about a big round of applause for the Oiler fans? Jeez. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Thunder Hill right about now, if you could, if you could sing a song for all the Flames fans. <laughs> Need a little comfort right now. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, someone uh, let us know when we're ready to go here. Let's go. Here we go. Thunderhill. Feather dance time. Pick oh, no. Fast and fancy. Big There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Holy man. Thank you, Thunder Hill. Those are just the warm-up songs, as I understand it. It's just going to get wickeder and more fierce. I didn't even try to attempt songs like that. I'd just be hurt. I'd be so hurt. I'd be just like all the Flames fans right now, just hurt. All right, judges, go on out. Bring us some uh, next go-around dancers. Two dancers apiece, judges. Two dancers apiece. Bring them on over here as you bring your selections. We got a lot of outstanding dancers. A lot of the dancers that traveled some distance, long distances to be here this weekend to be a part of the Brendan High Eagle Honor Dance. 
And make sure, judges, you look around the arena. We got some of our uh, dancers still uh, tightening up, fixing up here. Judges, make sure you look around the arena. We got dancers from uh, south of the border. We got dancers from north of the border here that have made it here to the great homeland 